And what draw trend lines will do is it gives you a crosshair. I don't know if you can see that crosshair as it moves. Also in the top corner here, that crosshair, whatever position it's in, we show the date and the price of that position. So if I want to see what this peak is here, I put it over, I can see that's the 8th of January 2010, and the price was 2950. So you can you can look across. Now, equally, what you can do is now draw a trend line. So if I want to look at a trend between these two peaks, I start at the top, click and drag and let go, and I have drawn a trend line across. Now you have the ability to um, make that trend line stop, or as I got it here, to extend. So that will complete um, the extension, will keep going as the chart moves forward, that trend line will continue to go. I mean, I've done one 10 years ago. It's very unusual that, a, um, that you'll have a 10-year-old trend moving forward and it's now disappeared because it's, it's too low. But um, if you draw yourself a, a recent trend line, then as you move forward, you'll be able to see as the days move on that that trend line will, will complete. Um, equally, you can annotate the chart in other different ways. So you can add um, up tick lines if you think, hey, we're going up there, or a down tick, we think it's, it's going down there. So you can point to things, and you can put text in. Just by clicking on the T for text, clicking on the chart, which opens up a little window, and start typing. So, so um, down here, uh, etc. So you can put on the chart. Equally, you can draw Fibonacci arcs, uh, Fibonacci fans, uh, retracements, time zones, uh, GAN fans, and uh, I'll just just explain what, you know one of those. If you do a, a Fibonacci here. Drag it, and it'll show you the Fibonacci levels that appears. I won't go in now to explain how Fibonacci levels work, but you can always look that up on, uh, on Google and um, and see what it's about. Equally, you can look it up on Help Text. Um, help Text is a good, perhaps, place to segue you to that, and in Help Text. It's case sensitive, so I can look up here in the index. Um, shows you all of the features within AIQ charts application. Again, for AIQ charts, read Winway charts. Um, so all of the features are in here. The chart, how you view, how you draw, 10 lines, Fibonacci arcs, etc. And other topics that are on there, some of which we'll be coming to later. But everything is in there, all the features uh, of the application of charts. Now, one of the useful points I want to point you to is Technical Indicators Reference Manual. So if you click on that, there is a list here now of all the technical indicators which are contained. So if you want to know what upper and lower average trading bands are, an exponentially smoothed average, you can open up and it will tell you what they are, what the values are, and how it's used in Winway. Um, equally, I was going to show you, those don't help there, um, I was going to show you here the technical indicator reference manual um, within that. Um, I was going to show you how you use it um, to look for um, uh, Not in there. I'm looking for the five and arches, and I think they are in the um, section before. Five and arches arts here. So this explains what five and arches arc is and does. It's constructed by drawing trend line between two extreme points. A trough and the opposing peak. Three arcs are then joined, centered upon the second extreme point, etc., etc. Shows what the radiuses are and what the levels are, and what um, what Fibonacci does, and how to put those in and change them. 
So it explains for all of the indicators what they are, what they're used for, uh, and, and how you would use them. Right, let's clear the, clear the chart up. Two ways of clearing your chart up. Um, the first is by hovering over um, any, part, any indicator that I've got there. So I've got a line there, a, tr a trend line, and I can delete that particular trend line, or I can delete all of the items on that ticker. So here I'm going to delete, and that's where you can extend your line or keep it, your trend line, or leave it as it is. You can change individual properties also of lines that you've driven, and or global properties of them as well. And so you've got complete control over those lines that you're drawing on your chart. But I'm here going to delete all items, so that clears that out. So when I when I look at this this chart, and let's expand it out, because you can expand and contract your chart. This one's pretty compact. But let's expand it out so we can perhaps see a bit better how we move from point to point. So you can take an average between two points there, and it draws an average. Now that is the calculated average between those two points. And um, obviously much better than if you use trend line and just guess it. It's, it's, it's easy to guess. I'd guess something like that, to be honest. But no, that is the actual calculated trend line. So it's, regression lines is very good to use when you want to find where your, the line is regressing to, where the particular pattern you're looking at is regressing to. And I want to show you that what, what you can do is to keep that text. Because this data is on your PC, all of that work that you've performed on that ticker is actually your work and you keep it you store it and it's there for whenever you need it until you decide you want to delete it so that stays with you 